Miss Monkey 1000. And oh, today is hot, hot, hot. It's so hot, it's unbelievable. So, anyways, um, I'm going to today. I got my little pot here that you might have saw on Shea Bear's video that he's getting ready to upload. I figured, I was thinking, and I had this and I had it full of all my art stuff. Well, I want to take these plants over here and not Shea Bear's. This one's Shea Bear's and it's doing fine. It's in a nice big pot. It needs to be watered though. Um, I want to take these two and I'm going to put them in here so I got him to put some holes in there for me so he did they're kind of a little bit big but I think they'll be all right because I'm gonna put all those plants in there so you can hang with me and we can do this together so also uh, not much new really um, pretty much the house is all done I think I got to work on the attic and where we got to get the swimming pool going up at my mom and mom's house. They didn't sign the papers last Thursday for the house, so they're supposed to do it this Thursday. So hopefully they do. If this does not go through, there is somebody else that's interested in the house. So we'll give them a call. He called me today to see if the house got completely went through or not. And I told him. So, and I told him, you know, if he's interested, that we will call him. So... Either way, I think the house will be sold. Um, so, and for, I never, I don't know if I ever told you um, about my adventure with uh, John Tavolta and Kelly Preston. Um, I'm sorry for John and his family um, about Kelly. That's horrible. I did not know she had breast cancer. And, um, that's it's just horrible as you know that I lived in Okawaha at one time which is near Ocala in Silver Springs um, up he lived John DeVolta has a house up that way and he lived probably maybe 40 minutes away from me and when I lived in Daytona he used to have a house over that way in one of the gated communities and my ex-husband he worked in that gated community and he met John Tavolta. So that was pretty cool. He John John Tavolta used to jog with his security guard and around the neighborhood there and my ex husband was roofing at the time, I believe, in there. So that was pretty cool. So he got to meet John Tavolta. But I also had another adventure with John Tavolta and Kelly. Um, they used to they did a lot for Ocala area because they live close um, to Ocala. So um, he did a lot of um, stuff with the um, homeless children and he also did stuff with the um, baseball for, for children. So they were always doing stuff. Um, so every time that he would do a movie, he would go to um, Hollywood Cinema in Ocala and he'd do like a premiere thing. So we would, my daughter and my son and I wanted to go to the movies. It was Friday night and he had Hog Heaven out. And when he did Hog Heaven, that they did a premiere um, on the first day. So we were there and we have a visitor over in the corner listening to me <laughs> so anyway so we decided we were going to go and the kids had told me about this but kids are kids and I didn't really believe them that he was going to be there with his wife so we went to get tickets and the tickets that we wanted were 8 o'clock show and they were all sold out so we had to wait and go to the later one and when we got there they had a carpet, a red carpet, and they had a podium, and they had a buried, buried off where, you know, they come up and, you, they, you know, the, the audience, well, the crowd will be divided. So, we were like, wow, this is cool, and of course, I always loved John DeVolta as a kid, so I had Grease albums, and all Google-eyed when I was in grade six for him, so, you know, he was pretty hot back then. 
us girls know. Anyway, so <laughs> we, uh, so I'm like, oh, okay, so let's hang out. And I didn't want to lose our spot because there really wasn't too many people there at the time. I think it was like six o'clock and we were going to go and get our tickets. We were going to go eat and we were going to come back. Well, time went and we were standing there hanging out and people had albums. People were starting to come. And I'm like, oh, we better not lose our spot, you know. I want to see this, you know. I think it was pretty cool. So, so we hung out and we waited and waited. And all of, all of a sudden, they come out, I think, around 7, 7.30. And uh, they come out on motorcycles. And uh, Kelly and, and John Tavolta, they both were all in leather and all this so they start they get off the motorcycles on the red carpet and they start to one end of, of the theater they start um, shaking hands and autographs and you know walking all the way around and they walked all the way around until they get to the podium well we were standing near the podium because I wanted to be able to hear what he was going to say so um, we uh, waited and of course the crowds were just screaming for him and it was loud and, and you know people push each other because you're like neck to neck to each other it's like ugh but I wanted to see this and then I didn't have anything so I, as he was getting closer I looked in my purse for a piece of paper and a pen and I said to my daughter you know you, you get you get his autograph and and um so she, he got closer, and so did she, and the security guard was right behind the two of them. And uh, they, were, they were doing everything. They would, they would sign all kinds of autographs and everything. And my daughter would be waving this piece of paper and yelling, and, and he would avoid her. Totally was avoiding Leslie. I don't know if it was just annoying or he just couldn't see because uh, people flash and lights and everything. So it must be very hard for them to be able to see, too. So, uh, finally, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly picked up her piece of paper and uh, signed it, and Kelly Preston on it. And so, my daughter says, turns around, she says, Mom, I got her autograph. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. At least we got one of them, you know. That was pretty, pretty cool. And as she said that, she goes, sheet white. And my daughter is an epileptic. She went into a seizure. So she was having a grandma seizure, and I came and I held her up, trying to hold her up. And so because there were so many people, I didn't want them to trample on her. And I couldn't hold her up any longer because she was dead weight. So she ended up on the ground, and I put my legs on top of her so nobody would trample on her. And everybody's hooting and hollering for John DeVolta. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs to try to get somebody to help me. And I got eye contact with the security guard that was behind John DeVolta. And he looked at me and he says, what's wrong? And I said, she's an epileptic. She's having a seizure. So he jumped over the fence that they had, which is nothing. I mean, it could have fell down. And he came over and he's trying to get the crowd away from her so she doesn't get hurt. And um, they wouldn't listen to him. So he's on the radio calling somebody else and this big huge guy with big huge muscles comes out screams at the top of his lungs he says if you don't move you're all going to jail and they just poof, were all gone they all moved they had to put John DeVolta and Kelly Preston inside the theater and they could not talk at the podium until after the ambulance came for my daughter so everybody was standing and waiting you know and a lot of people are not too pleasant you know because they only care about what they want to see. So we get her to the hospital and of course they give her medicine. Leslie, it's like having a heart attack when you have a seizure, you know. She was in bed almost a week. So um, we took her home and she missed a whole week of school and they were trying to get her meds. Uh, get, they changed her medication so maybe that would work. Um, so she was she was in high school and uh, when this happened so um, you know the week is almost up and all of a sudden I get a call from the hospital 
And I'm like, uh-oh, they found something. Something bad's happened to her blood work or something. So they called me up and said, well, John DeVolta and Kelly Preston were feeling bad about your daughter. And they said, um... We wanted to, they wanted to call you, but because of confidentiality law that they were, that they couldn't give out our phone number. So, um, they, they told them to give them his and that they would let me know. And if I was interested, I would call them back. So I got his phone number. Of course, it's not his phone number. It's his security's phone number. So I called them back and I told them who I was. And I, um, you know, the hospital informed me that he was, they were feeling bad about my daughter. So we, um, so he, he, he said yes, they were, and that they wanted to send flowers to my daughter, and they wanted to, to give her some pictures, uh, one of Kelly and one of uh, John Travolta. So I said, okay, sure, why not, you know? I mean, you don't get this every day, and why not? So, and it was for her, you know, it made her feel, feel good. And so they had given her a dozen roses, and it was, uh, they were so pretty. All different colors. Uh, they were really, really pretty. And they brought them to the house. And then they brought a guy a few days later. He came to the house. And he brought pictures of him and Kelly. And they put her name on it and said, Hope you get better soon. Leslie on them. Each one of them. So I thought it was pretty cool. And... Um, he also called her. He was in an airplane because he was doing the promotion of Hog Heaven. And so he was flying and doing the promotion. So he was flying uh, to California and he called her on the telephone. So he talked to her. He talked to my mother too because I was at work when he called. So he, my mother had answered the phone and gave it to Leslie. So he got, they both got to talk to him. So I got shit out of that one. <laughs> But, oh well. <laughs> I'm the one who was so Google-eyed over him and never got to talk to him. <laughs> so, anyways. That's the story. And I'm very sorry for John to, to be lo losing his wife. That's just very sad. And He's we were all now. shocked. Huh? He's single now. Yeah, right. He'll He's, live more from you. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's a shame. It's, it's really sad. So... Yeah, from here, yeah. He only lives about an hour from here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, he... I know where he lives. I'm sure the, the gate's already full of flowers. I would assume up there where he lives, so... Um, yeah. I'm sorry to, to hear that, so... Anyways, that was my story for John Travolta. So now I'm going to do my flowers and show you what I'm going to do. So... Here we go. I'm going to put you down here, maybe. Is this rice? No? Alright. Okay. Well, I don't know if they can see that. I don't know. They can see it, I think. Yeah, you can see it. It'll turn down. Huh? It'll turn down. Yeah. And I'm going to get some potting soil here. So what I'm going to do, I've just got some extra potting soil here that I'm going to put in here. Uh, fill it up. And I thought it would be cute for outside. And it was just sitting there with flowers and with um, art stuff. So, Huh? Yeah, maybe. That'll work. Maybe I'm trying to get it out that way. But it was interesting, um, you know, that we got to do that. And it's funny how he's always been around me, never that far. Because when we lived in uh, Daytona, he lived in Ormond Beach, John Travolta. And he had, he lived in a gated community over there, and they had an airport there. And the airport got mad at him because his airplanes were too big. To, to go in there. And he was mad because they had a big 
big thing about it. They had a lawsuit, I believe, and um, John Travolta lost, so he moved. He moved out in another gated community, but it's not as big. Um, there's him, and the owner lives in the front part of it, and um, there's a few other houses, and I don't know who's in those houses. Um, could be somebody like a movie star, too, that I don't know, but um, him and Kelly lived there quite, you know. Kelly... Um, my mom said that Kelly Preston went to school in Ocala, so, and she has family here, so, um, that was the reason why they kind of moved this way, um, and it was because of the airplanes, too. So every once in a while, I'll have a patient out where they live, and I will, um, see his airplane there, but you can't get in, it's a, it's a big gate, and they have guards there and stuff, so. And I wouldn't want to bother them. I'm not that kind of person, you know, and you don't want to bother people. They have a life too, even though they're movie stars, it's their job, you know. So I'm going to take my plants out here. I put all that dirt in there. Hopefully you can see. Um, hopefully not too much. I'm going to poke a hole. Ooh, I'm pulling it out and breaking the poor thing. I don't know. It's been under the eave here. We've had lots of rain, so I'm really kind of surprised it's really dry, so... I thought, well, they're kind of outgrowing this, and um, these little things that Shea Bear made. So I thought maybe I'll move them and put them in this, and I'll make them look cute. And eventually I'll get all this stuff out of here, so I'll have my front yard again, make it look nice. So I'm going to put this one in here, and they were both doing very well, but they don't seem to be doing so good right now. So I'm going to give them some water. And they are spaced. This one's bigger though, so it may take over. I don't know. There you go. So it's a cute little planter. I got these at Dollar Tree. This is in, I guess, French. And um, the other one I had, I had English, and I used it in the bathroom. I did a video on it, which I'll put up on the end of this video. So you can check that one out. I did that a while back. And I still have it in my bathroom, and I like it. It's cute. So, that's that. I'm going to give it some water. And we'll go over here and get, get some water, okay? These are my plants here. I don't know if you can see. Um, I haven't had much time for sh anything since my dad died. But this was my dad's plant. And it's a palm. It's a type of palm. And it was sitting in the back. It's kind of half dead. So I'm going to plant this in the ground and um, see if I can get it to grow. I think it might. It may. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. So um, I might do that today. I don't know. It needs to be planted. Well, they had it by the pool and it was just sitting there in that bucket right there. So I, what I could do is empty that, maybe put some soil in there, and I could leave it in there. I'll see if there's any holes in it. If not, I'll get Shea Bear to put some holes in that. So we can have that one done. So I figured I'd do this today and get it done. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in here. So we got some stuff out there for sale, but... You know, you can only do so much when, um, ah, I'm hitting my truck. I'm trying to, here, i got to put you down for a second. Let me spray this out a little bit better. It's not so harsh. There we go. Let me just put a little bit of water in there. Just lay it on top. Because it's really, this kind of sprinkler is too harsh for it. So, there we go. Get a little bit of water, and then I can put it back where it was. There we go. Yeah, so I'd be a cute little planter to put outside. So, turn this water off here. Oh, the mess we have over there. It's slowly going. It's getting better. 
there's my my purple flowers. I have trouble getting these because they're really supposed to be more sunlight than what they are. And uh, but I wanted them to cover up this window. This is my bathroom window, and. <laughs> I wanted it to grow and kind of cover up the whole window there. That was my idea, but it's kind of all over the place right now. In the winter time, I, will, I trim it so it gathers up a little bit better. Then I have this one here. It's doing well. I've had this one since I bought the place. I, I put that in, and it took a while for it to grow, and now it's really grown. But you can tell it wants the sun. And with this E right here, it makes it very hard. So. And I have some heather there. That one died on me. And that was really pretty. It was supposed to be a vine and climb the wall, and it didn't. And uh, there's some heather. I got that. And my elephant ears over here. I want them to take over this section here and kind of go draping over the window. My mom and dad had it over at their other house up in uh, Okawaha when they lived there. And theirs was huge. And it would cover the windows, but it, it was nice because you could still see through and it gave it a nice shade. That's what I'm trying to do with this one. But this isn't that old. And it's, it's growing a lot this year. So hopefully if we don't get any frost, it'll, it'll continue. Um, it depends. If we get frost, it'll completely die and they'll start over again. They're very hardy plants in Florida. They will last a long time. But I just want it to do what I want it to do. <laughs> and it takes a long time for all that. So, anyways, there you go. My little planter. And I'm just going to put back on the white table that I have over here. And there we go. And I'll put some um, there. And eventually I'll be able to sit back on my bench again one day. I'm going to give Shea Bears some water. It needs some water. It looks like it's dying. And he worked hard on it. But with the heat, it's been so hot, it's been horrible. So, um, you know, it's, it's just been horrible. So. Let me put you down again for a minute. Now that I don't have to be at the other house as much, maybe I can get some stuff down here. I am getting a little bit busier with work, which is good because I need to work. But, um, just keep, keep doing it. I'm watering your plant, babe. Looked like it was dying. So, I wanted to give it a little bit of water. That's fine. Not his head off. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that's fine. Ha ha! Did you wet? <laughs> Did I get you? Did I get you wet? Aw, you live. Probably cool you off today. That should turn off in just a minute. There you go. Better? Where are you going to put them? Huh? Well, don't don't put any more in there. You don't have enough. Okay. No, I don't want to overdo it. So, anyways, guys. Well, this got holes in the bottom. That's it for now. So does mine now. <laughs> it looks better. And maybe it'll grow now. We'll see. We'll see. And our garden uh, did very well. We're still getting um, hot peppers. We got a bunch of them off today. And um, there's some tomatoes, um, grape tomatoes that I picked off this morning. So we're enjoying the garden very much. So next oh, year. Got some tomatoes off? Yeah, yeah. I'm say because well, there was a lot more this morning. You know? <laughs> yeah, I took off the orange ones, so the red ones, and the. Uh, I was afraid because there's uh, some of the bigger ones that should have been big got a few bugs on them and they ate them. Yeah. So I wanted to get the other ones off so they weren't going to eat them. So next year we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to probably make one on the ground, right babe? 
and then that way we can put more I might put some cucumbers in there and some might do a head of lettuce try to do something like that so I can don't have to buy that stuff at the store and I tell you what it, it, it's a different flavor it's so much different I, I don't mind gardening but you know and it really doesn't take a lot of effort really we, we're not the you know we're not experts at it but we do what we can and and we're doing good for our first year so I like to do another one on the ground and then keep that other one and then we'll put other things in both of them and have a bigger garden yeah yeah we could do that yeah and put the tomatoes on the bottom one and anything tall that's going to grow tall we'll put in the bottom one yeah that'll be good and things should settle down by then by then everything should be done at my mom and dad's house a lot of all this stuff here that's in outside is should be organized a little bit more and so our life is slowly going to go back the other way hopefully soon <laughs> anyways that's it for now monkey says she's out y'all have a good day good week if i don't get another one up say bye shea bear bye shea bear <laughs> And y'all have a good week. Bye, y'all. Okay, guys, just throwing this in real quick. I decided to do this. Shaber put holes in the bottom for me, and we put him in this pot to see how well he does. Because he is dying. But he may come back. You know, he... I don't know what those spots are that are on there. Now, they had... The, my parents had this over by the swimming pool. So, it could be some of the chlorine might have got on it or whatever. So, it's starting to rain. So, I'm going to let the rain get at it. And hopefully, it gives it a nice downpour. So, it, wa it gives it good rain and water. I can't talk. So, we'll see. Anyways, that's it for now. Bye, y'all.